Hi, this is Brian with RedBand.com, and I am talking about pocket cameras again, my favorite thing to talk about. Uh, this is the Kodak ZI-18. You've seen me review this before. Overall, I found there's a lot of problems with it. The software's buggy, and Kodak pretty much just gave up on the issues that it still has, in my opinion. Uh, now, I've also been talking about you know the T500, the T900, and the TX1 from Sony. And they just happened to release a new camera at CES 2010 to replace the TX1 called the TX7. And we'll get that to get to that later. Um, that doesn't come out for another month or so. And I'm happy to say that the TX7 does fix everything. Everything that I said that the TX1 had problem-wise, or and not problem-wise, but features I wish the TX1 had and didn't. It's almost like Sony saw my review and was like, okay, let's fix all those things. Because they even fixed, when I said I didn't like how the new TX1 didn't have the, the rocker uh, for the zoom, they even fixed that. They put it on the side right here. That's pretty crazy that they, I mean, literally everything I said was fixed. So look for that camera. That's the DSC TX7. And that should be coming out in the end of February, early March. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about Sony's line of pocket cameras, kind of like the flips in the in the Kodak ZI-18. They released three different ones. They relate, uh, this is the uh, gun style, I guess you can call it. Uh, uh, they also released uh, one that looks more like this, but the, the lens rotates, uh, I think 360. I think it goes around. I didn't go for that one, but I went with this one. And the reason I went with this one is because they all, all the new uh, bloggy style cameras all pretty much have the same hardware, except this one has a five times optical zoom. And that's great because uh, digital zoom, if you know anything about digital zooms, kind of sucks. So this is an unboxing video. I'm going to review it. Uh, I'm going to be using it a lot today and I'm going to go through it and compare it with uh, some of my other cameras and see how good it is. Um, I have high ho high hopes for this because I really uh, want to stop using this. This has been coming more and more just a headache to me. It's an okay camera, but there's just so many little problems with it that I guess Kodak just doesn't care about it anymore. They, they've moved on, I think. Uh, so anyways, this is a boxing cam unboxing video, so let's do what we have here. Here's the box. Uh, again, this is the model is the uh, MHS-CM5. <clears throat> this was just released uh, yesterday, today. Uh, this is typical boxing for Sony, you know, nothing too exciting. This does come in different colors. It came in, uh, this is the blue, or the, the weird purple blue color. It also came in, I believe, red and silver, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. So anyways, well, let's see what's inside this box. Hopefully it's better than the last, last box unboxing video when I did the Sony e-reader. Uh, a lot of people recommended I get a knife. That would make sense. Okay, so right when you open it up, you got your software warranty cards. Uh, instruction manual, all that jazz. First thing you have in the box, well, let's start, let's go backwards. Uh, looks like you have a lens, cover lens uh, cord. It ha this has a cap that fits on the lens, so this is probably for that, so you don't lose it. Uh, looks like also has a neck or a hand. Uh, lanyard you also have a battery it's their k type battery and it's the model is n like nancy p like paul dash b like brian k like kite and one like one and this is actually i was wishing it was using a different battery because that means i have to buy more of these batteries it uh, comes with uh, your typical hook up to your TV, old school yellow, red, and white cable, normal. Uh, 
looks like it comes with a USB adapter on one side it's a USB plug on the other side it's a female plug because this camera does have a USB cord in it that pops out or a USB plug so that's used uh, so you have kind of like a length so when you hook it up to your laptop interesting uh, wow this color is this weird color this is the in the on the Sony website this looks more purplish blue but this is a really dark uh, a really dark purple like almost looks black but in some lights it's a purple uh, this has a lens that pops out or a viewfinder I'm sorry uh, and it turns around so you can film yourself kind of like a regular camcorder it looks like it has a play button a record button and a menu button here here's the lens cap I'm talking about uh, oh I better put that cable on that thing that's gonna be lost very quickly the front uh, you just have the lens and there's nothing the mic is actually where is the mic Huh. That is interesting. Where is the mic? Well, I guess I will figure that out during the review later. Uh, on the back, you have a zoom in and out. You also have a uh, to go from photo still camera to video still camera. And this looks like it just it rocks to zoom forward and back. Um, you have your like a, like a menu key here it's like a, a little joystick uh, let's open this up ah. this slides open you have a USB cable it pops out it looks like you also have that HDMI HDMI out that's nice uh, you also have the plug for the old school yellow and red and white cables for your TV. And of course the USB plug that you can hook up to your computer. So that's what you use the extension for. You hook up the female to the male, then you have a little bit longer cable to hook up to your computer. And that uh, is also in here is where you plug in this cable to hook up to your TV. So that's a nice little hidden compartment, little closet that you can shut, put that back in there. Uh, the bottom, oh, that's a nice solid door. Uh, that's where you put your battery and your memory card. I wonder if there's any battery juice in here since this is a new camera, maybe there is. And this takes, uh, this is one of the first cameras that takes not only uh, regular memory stick pro uh, what, what Sony has been known to use for a while is a Memory Stick Pro Duo uh, memory cards. But this is also the first time that they're allowing the use of SD cable or SD cards. So now I can shove a 8 gigabyte SD card in there. And there's a slot right below it that when you take this card out, there's a slot that you can put your uh, Memory Stick Pro Duo. So you, you can use Pro Duo or you can use SD cards in this camera. This is a new thing for Sony that they announced at CES. That's very welcomed because SD cards, if you know anything about SD cards, you can get SD cards pretty cheap nowadays.